Isaac Asimov is one of the pillars of modern science fiction. His predictions to what the world would look like in 2014 are creepily accurate. Hello, male units and female units. I am Trace01, and it is 2014. 50 years ago, the world was looking toward the push-button nuclear age, when humans could explore enlightenment and be free of the drudgery of everyday life. The era was rife with predictions and visions of the best future for humanity. In 1964, the Dow was at 874 points, and the average annual income was $6,000. The first Ford Mustang was on the road, and the first VHS players were being launched by Sony, and during the World's Fair in New York that year, professor and author Isaac Asimov wrote predictions for the year 2014. Anybody can make predictions. Movies and pop culture shows do it all the time. And yet Asimov's are somehow better. He seems so confident and he got a lot of them right. For instance, he knew many of our home appliances wouldn't need plugs, but he wasn't quite right in assuming they would run on nuclear power. He was spot on when he said communications will become sight sound and you will see as well as hear the person on the telephone. The screen can be used not only to see the people you call, but also for studying documents and photographs and reading passages from books, which sounds exactly like an iPad. He also said that TVs would be flat and that 3D would be really popular, though he also said that farms would be giving way to consuming microorganisms like yeast and algae and that they'll be available in a variety of flavors. That's still largely science fiction, though some societies are trying to get people to eat insects. Maybe you remember last Christmas when I did. My favorite prediction, though, just came true in the last couple of months. Asimov said conversations between Earth and Moon can be handled by modulated laser beams, which just happened. Using a laser array on the Lunar Atmosphere and Dust Environment Explorer, NASA just achieved the highest space-based data rate ever at 622 megabits per second. Aside from Asimov's assumption that we would still hold world's fairs, because we don't, he also assumed we'd learn to control our population better. He assumed that we'd have a world population control center that would do lectures and show movies and documentary material educating people how procreation and birth control works. But uh, no, Anthony Lacey and I do our best, but come on Earth, this is for our own good. The most interesting prediction hinges on our own success. As robots take over routine tasks and machinery builds our roads and manages our lives, Asimov said, mankind will suffer badly from the disease of boredom. Creative work of any sort will be the true elite of mankind, for they alone will do more than serve a machine. You can read all of Asimov's predictions on the New York Times archive online. But what do you think of these? What do you think it's going to be like in another 50 years? Tell us your predictions down below, and we will see you next time on D News. Have a happy new year, everybody.